know you want to be a mermaid. Today we're going to be talking about mermaid hacks, professional mermaid hacks. Different things that I've figured out and that my friends have figured out to make your life as a professional mermaid easier. So we've got a whole bunch of things I'm going to show you. Let's start off with um, sore feet. I have an entire video about sore feet and monofin pain, so check out that video first. It's also a section in my book, but my two things that help the most with foot pain are these two things. One are toe spreaders. You can pick these up at any drugstore. Um, they're called, uh, yeah, they're called toe spreaders or sometimes they're called yoga feet or yoga booties or yoga toes, things like that. And uh, you put them on your toes and they help spread your toes and stretch out those tendons so that you don't get as many foot cramps. The other thing you can use are different types of booties. So you can use a full booty and these work well inside different monofins because they protect your ankles from chafing and blisters. They protect the tops of your feet from chafing and blisters. It can be a bit harder to get your tail on with one of these though. So you might find it easier with a half booty. These work with pretty well with uh, competitor monofins. I find other monofins you still need the full booty, but I can use these pretty well with competitor monofins. Another thing I get asked a lot about is protecting our eyes, ears, nose, and hair, and I have a couple of hacks for those as well. There are different types of nose plugs you can buy that are semi-invisible for when you are performing. One is the Sign Saver nose plug, and it goes whoop, right up your nose, and you just have this little tiny bit showing. I have a whole video about that as well. Another that I love is one made by Speedo. It's a liquid comfort invisible nose plug. Now it's not completely invisible. You pinch it on and it still pinches your nose. But it really, I find, does not show up that much in pictures and video. Check it out. Gentile eye gel is like the gold standard for mermaids for protecting their eyes. If you're just practicing in a pool, you might want to just wear goggles. But you know, if you're going to be swimming for a while with your eyes open for a party or for performing in an aquarium or something like that, Gentile is one of the best things you can get. It will make your vision a little blurry and you should check with your eye doctor if you wear glasses or have contacts. But for most people, it's generally very safe and it's very soothing on dry eyes. Gel tends to work a lot better than drops. For your ears, We've got um, antibiotic eardrops, you can get them over the counter and they're really good if you get water trapped in your ear to prevent getting an ear infection or if you start to get an ear infection they can help. I also like to use clear malleable silicone earplugs, they're great, you can get them at the drugstore. They come out, now for people with big ears you might need to use one per ear but I like to break them in two and then I mold them to my ear and stick them in and press them flat. It will affect your ability to hear and it will affect how deep you can go because of the pressurization. But if you're just doing a birthday party or something at the top of the water and you want to save your ears, these are the way to go. I use them for everything because I get massive, massive ear infections. Another great thing you can use to prevent some damage to your body are reliable um, waterproof bandages. Good for blisters and things like that inside your tail. Not all of them will actually stick to you while they're wet, so it's good to find waterproof ones. Lifeguards can usually tell you which ones actually work. Another great product to have is a backup battery, portable battery pack that you can have with you in your bag or in your pocket. It's great for charging your phone. Um, you can actually even charge tablets with it and cameras and all kinds of things. This one that we got on Amazon for 50 bucks is amazing. And Amazon Prime is another mermaid hack, I have to tell you. We got Amazon Prime for our business. Everything ships in two days, free shipping, um, great guarantees, really fast and reliable, and we get great bulk order prices on things that we use for our business all the time. So Amazon Prime is another great thing in addition to the portable battery. Um, talking about places that give you good deals, Vistaprint are fantastic. Once you order from Vistaprint, they send you a cool coupon code for 20% off anything you buy. But you can Google Vistaprint discount codes and sometimes they have up to 50 or 60% off. And once you become a Vistaprint member, they will even email you different discount deals all through the year, which are phenomenal. I get a lot of things made through Vistaprint for our marketing for our company. All of these signs were made through Vistaprint, really inexpensive. Postcards are another great thing that you can give as a handout as opposed to business cards. Business cards are great, but postcards 
really are eye-catching. Kids love them and collect them. You can sign them on the back. You can put all of your information. So I've got our Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, website, and our logo. And I gotta tell you, I have clients who have kept postcards for years and they come to different events we do and they collect the postcards. Postcards have done more for me than business cards ever have and they just seem to really resonate with people and you can get them so inexpensively on Vistaprint and this is Mermaid Kristen in this one. Vistaprint is just great for so many different things. Um, another great trick is that for those of us with breasts, they can sometimes get really cold when we're doing mermaid gigs and sometimes tops do not have as much coverage as we like because of the way they're made or cut when we're swimming, they can flap open. And so a really great way to fix that, to stay warm, to stop chafing, and to make it fit better are the little chicken cutlet inserts. <laughs> These are great. You can buy them at places like um, La Senza and all kinds of different lingerie stores and you can literally just glue them right into your mermaid top or if you're doing a dry gig and you need a little bit of extra coverage or warmth, you can just pop them in there. They're about 25 bucks Canadian to buy, so probably like 19, 20 bucks American. And they're just really squishy and fun. <laughs> I love them. A really cool hack, if you're not someone with a lot of money, let's say you don't really have a, a reliable camera and you take your phone everywhere, because hey, phones are doing great with taking photos these days. They've got a lot of megapixels and you can take photos with a phone the same way you used to with point and shoots. And now they're starting to make underwater phones and underwater casings. So a really cool hack for your phone is to hop on Amazon and buy yourself some phone lenses. You can get a kit of three lenses for 25 bucks. They're really cool, they look like this. Just take the lens cap off there. And you can put them on your front facing camera or your back facing camera, just like that. And now all of a sudden I have a fisheye lens. And I have a macro lens or I have a wide angle lens too. So it's really cool. It just adds an extra little dimension to your photography and it's like 25 bucks for three of them Canadian. So it's even cheaper for Americans. And you can check out different reviews online. Mine got here in two days because of Amazon Prime, which is really great. And I've been having a lot of fun taking pictures with them. If you want to go a little bit further with your pictures, let's say you've got a nice inexpensive DSLR. DSLRs are great because they put out a new one every year so you can get older models for as low as 300 bucks. And they're a great starter kit um, camera and you can get different lenses for them and stuff like that. But the cool thing is, is you can get bag housings for them. So then you can get yourself some semi-pro underwater shots. Really cool stuff. Another great tip for goggles, for GoPros, and for underwater lenses is to buy some anti-fog solution. One little bottle will last you like a year or two because you only use a tiny bit of it. Maybe you find when you're practicing your mermaid stuff, you've got your goggles on and they fog up. Or maybe you're filming with a GoPro and when you come out of the water, there's water droplets on the lens obscuring the view. So you've got this great shot underwater, but then when you come out, it's all blurry. Or maybe you're using an underwater camera housing like this one and it gets foggy. So anti-fog is the perfect thing for that. You can even use it on your phone lens if you're taking photos in a pool and everything keeps fogging up. What else do I have here? Now, when we're caring for our mermaid tails, a lot of the professional mermaids use silicone mermaid tails. And there's a lot of upkeep that goes into them to make sure that you don't get mold. Now, I talked to Smooth On, the people who make the dragon skin silicone, specifically to ask them my questions about maintaining silicone so that we're making it last as long as we can. What people don't realize is the silicone your tail is made out of is super high quality, medical grade silicone. So anything that a doctor would do to a silicone product in order to sanitize it, you can actually do to your tail. So hot water is okay, all right? And so is a little bit of Lysol wipes. I like to use um, a certain brand. So this is like Clorox and you can also use Lysol. And um, these are really great because they don't leave behind much of a residue and they kill all the stuff that creates mold. So after you wash out your tail, before you dry it, you can just wipe down the inside of it with one of these wipes to help prevent mold. Because when you're using all these different kinds of lubricants to try and get your tail on, or if you're even just sweating into your tail, that is creating the perfect environment for mold. And even if you rinse it and dry it really well, you can 
still get mold and I find that using these has helped me make my tails last a very long time. Um, I'm always being asked what my favorite makeup is and I've got whole videos just on makeup but I did want to give a shout out to the one underwater mascara that I find that works. I've tried all kinds of underwater mascaras. I've tried ones that are super expensive, I've tried ones that are really cheap and the best one I've found is a drugstore brand. It's from the Miss Manga Rock line and it's in a yellow black tube and you want to get the blue text that says waterproof. Not only does it make your eyelashes look killer, it is literally the only one I have found that is absolutely waterproof. It does not come off. You have to use oil to get it off of your eyelashes. So it's like eight bucks Canadian. It is a great deal. Check it out. In the mermaid world, coconut oil, just like the real world, is sent from the gods. It's one of the best things that you can use to help you deal with the problems of being a mermaid. Hashtag mermaid problems. So one of those problems is your hair, okay? You spend so much time in the chlorine that it eats away at your hair. It makes it fall out. In my case, it makes it turn like a blonde when it used to be red. <laughs> Um, so what you can do, a really neat trick, you see I've done all these videos where I wear wigs and stuff like that, and you can actually get co coconut oil cooking spray. So it's like in an aerosol container, just like hairspray, and spray it all in your hair to help prevent the chlorine burn. And if you're like me and you wear a wig, you can spray it all in your hair, tuck your hair up under your wig, and it gives it a nice barrier from that chlorine. Coconut oil is great for taking off underwater makeup and waterproof makeup. Uh, sometimes if I have really intense stuff on my eyes like Makeup Forever, I will put some of the oil on a washcloth or a cotton pad and I will hold it there for a minute and then wipe it and it comes off. Uh, the other thing it's really great for is that chlorine burn that you get on your skin. I take a spoonful of coconut oil, I put it in my hot bath and I just soak and it totally absorbs into my skin so much better because of the heat and it just really helps with that chlorine burn. It makes it feel so much better. Another reliable hack is to just buy a bag of clamps. You can get them from any hardware store, Home Depot, places like that. You'll never know when a clamp can come in handy for fixing your tail, for hanging up banners, for taking care of the space that you're going to be in, for holding things together. It sounds so silly, but we use so many clamps in our mermaid business. One of my favorite hacks you can find on YouTube and it's building an underwater GoPro stabilizer. You can build it using $20 worth of materials with all of these awesome PVC pipes and then just different GoPro mounts. This one can hold up to five mounts so that can be one camera and four lights, three cameras and two lights, whatever we want. And it comes apart really easy for packing. And because it's hollow, you can fill it full of weights if you need it to be able to sink a little bit or it'll float, you can add a floaty to it. And just having that extra little bit of stabilization works really well. And there are some great GoPro stabilizer tutorials that you can find on YouTube that are just so awesome. Another hack that I've learned is how to keep water out of your nose. You've tried different things like the nose plugs like we've talked about earlier. But sometimes you don't want to wear a nose plug, you're just going to do a couple flips for a show or something or for taking pictures and you just don't want to have all that burning chlorine go up your nose. My trick for that is to take your tongue and put it across the roof of your mouth just like you were trying to get rid of an ice cream headache. Then as you go to do your back flip, you blow a little bit of air out of your nose. Between blowing the air out of your nose and having your tongue on the roof of your mouth, it creates a really great seal. So then when you go to do the back flip, you don't have that water coming up your nose and causing and then when you go to do the backflip you don't have that water going up your nose and causing that really uncomfortable burning sensation that can sometimes be really distracting and disorienting you can get kind of confused when you're underwater right so that's a really great way to keep it out it doesn't always work you kind of have to practice it and figure out what you need to do with your body to make that work so that is the latest So You Want to Be a Mermaid, my hacks for professional mermaids. I hope it helps you out on your journey. Thank you to everyone who gave me different suggestions. These are all things that I have personally tried and I definitely feel like they work. If you like this video, please hit subscribe. You can also check out the playlist for over 30 other tutorial videos for being a professional mermaid. I've been a professional mermaid now for nine years. I have learned a lot of tricks. Let me teach you my tricks. You can check out my mermaid blog at rainamermaid.com where I talk about all things mermaids. I also give out lots of free information and tutorials and resources that you can use. 
you can check out makemeamermaid.com. That also has my playlist of all my videos, and it has my books that I've, that I've written that you can buy to help you build a mermaid business. My most recent book is actually a workbook that you can fill in the blanks, and it'll help you build your business and make a business plan. So that's everything for now. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, let me know if you've got some ideas for other videos, and I would just like to wish you best fishes.